What's up everybody? It is Sweet up the Mask Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a video of, um, well, correction, I'm going to explain it and answer a question that has been asked a lot lately, and it's, hey, Sweet, you're a PS3 gamer, but you use an Xbox 360 controller. How do you do that? And I'm going to let you guys know, this is a basic PS3 controller that's nothing fancy or, you know, fantastic about it. It's not jailbroken, it's not modified. And this Xbox 360 controller, it's by Microsoft, it's not a third party, it's 100% legit. I got the grip, it's on there, that's my aim. But, um, it's this device that does all the magic for me, it's called the XCM Cross Battle Adapter Plus. I love this thing, I've been using it for a few months now, and, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up, how it works, and I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to buy it so here we go I'll plug it all for you again this is all it is it's this little box with a USB cord uh, nothing too fancy it's kind of like a clear black one too so it's cheaper it's not painted um, so what you do you take the USB cord obviously you plug it into the PS3 you don't plug it into a freaking computer or anything like that and then you take your Xbox cord and you plug it into this thing that lights up blue right there that's how you know it's working and then your controller will light up meaning hey look asshole I'm working use me damn it and now I'm gonna cover why I use this controller and not this one there's nothing wrong with this controller it's a great controller I like it however my hands are big and I'm a six foot tall dude. I'm, you know, I got big hands. I should be playing basketball in the NBA. I can't be playing with these little controllers like this. This controller is a lot bigger. The handles are wider. Uh, the buttons are more spread out. I like how the analogs are like that instead. They're not so close. Um, I like it a lot. And this also comes with turbo button uh, sorry not buttons I say turbo switch for your buttons I'll show you guys how that works um, but first things first I know what you're thinking hey does this uh it's a lot of wiring going on does this um is there a delay is there a lag and here we go got black ops 2 on the screen right here with the mp7 and I'm gonna show you guys no lag it's very on time um, everything works out great very satisfied at first I was you know I was a little skeptical sorry about the glare that's from my windows but I was a little skeptical you know I'm like oh, there must be a delay there wasn't really anyone saying if there was a delay or not so I didn't really want to go and spend like the 10 or 15 dollars however much I spent on it for it to just be wasted because I also had to buy this too because I was getting sick of the uh, PS3 controller but this was only 35 on Amazon, and then this came out to like 15 so altogether this was 50 bucks. And I know what you're thinking, hey, how come you didn't just buy a PS3 controller that shapes like an Xbox? Well, for one, I don't like the third-party controllers. They always break, or, you know, there's something always wrong with those things, so I really can't stand them. I'd rather just go my route and go with a well-known company with a first-party product, and that's why I did that. Plus... You can't really compare yourself to an Xbox controller. There's nothing like the original Xbox controller. And I like it a lot. So, I'll leave a link in the description for this. And I'm going to show you guys how the buttons work. And here we go. You got Turbo Fire for just about all your buttons. The A, B, X, Y, um, R1, R2, left trigger, right bumper, stuff like that. Uh, they work for all buttons. Um, for example, I'll show you first A button. A, X. You know, normally you just jump that's it but if you hold a you're constantly jumping I don't know why you would want to constantly be jumping maybe you're special and you like to jump but I personally use it for right trigger R2 sorry um, hold on let me switch this off to show you guys the difference sorry about that I'm a pain in the ass you hold down the trigger on your pistol it's not fully automatic Holding it down, it's not doing anything. Reload. Now, you turn on the turbo button, R3, and fully automatic pistol. Um, 
That's kind of nice. I like it. I don't know why it stopped shooting right there. I think my finger slipped. I don't know. But it works for all single fire weapons. However, if you're playing zombies, it will not work for the M14 or the FAL. I don't know about any other guns. That, so far, those are the only two guns that it doesn't work. And that's all I really use it for is for zombies. Um, I'm going to switch it back on put on the MP7 to show you it's not a rapid fire. As you can see, I'm pissing through bullets very slowly. The average fire rate, if anything, this will slow down the fire rate on your weapons. Um, it's just for making things fully automatic, nothing too fancy, you know, I'm not cheating. It's, just, it's about the same speed as a trigger finger. But instead of doing that, I can just hold down the button and get the same result. So, anyways, that's it for now. I really recommend this product if you got big hands or you just generally like the Xbox control better than the PS3. Very well worth it. It's only like 10 to 20 bucks. If you're paying more than $20, don't buy it. You can find it somewhere else for a lot cheaper. Um, however, this does not work with wired, uh, wireless Xbox 360 controllers. If you want one for a wireless Xbox 360 controller, you're looking to spend about, I would have to say, <laughs> unfortunately, $80. Uh, it's really expensive. Not worth it, in my honest opinion. I would not spend $80. I'd just stick it out with the PS3 until the next consoles. Maybe there's going to be better design controllers then. But that's it. So, like I said, link's in the description. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It's going to look like this on your screen. <laughs> And uh, I'll catch you guys later.